Hello everybody, welcome to Percussion Axiom TV. I am your host, Tom Barrett, and we are back today with episode number 92, um, with a look kind of back at the basics. You know, one of the reasons I started the show was to just get some information out there using some of this uh, technology that we have now that's so accessible and so far reaching and also getting information back from you guys and really about the whole interaction process. And I realized that that's sometimes hard to, uh, to create and get, and get going with you guys. So recently, um, CS Percussion uh, got in touch with me with a tweet basically asking the following, and let me just read it for you. It says, I got a student having inside mail at slippage issues. I can't figure out the issue. Suggestions. And so it was nice to see that because um, you know, using Twitter to sort of ask a question and to generate a discussion. So today I just wanted to get back to him about some things that he saw. He sent me a couple videos uh, that I think were you know, hopefully not too difficult for him to produce, but really helpful for me because I requested mm -hmm. tweeting back saying, look, I just need to see exactly what we're dealing with here before I can really say anything in reply. So that's today's show. Um, really just kind of getting back to basics as an axiom of you know, interacting and using this technology. So um, thank you for that tweet. I hope you guys feel free to, to just hit, up, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter and say, hey, I got a question or what do you, would you do with this? And I love when you guys do that. And um, I try my best to get back to everybody. So um, the issues that we're facing are Steven's grip issues. I can tell the student from the video is fairly young, maybe hasn't been at this too long. Um, we're using a little bit of a different camera angle here. I'm standing further back. Hopefully I'm in the shot just so I can get a little closer up to the camera when I show you some things here. So really, this is a huge concept and this is, it, it is a complicated grip, but really my teaching style is really all about, let's summarize some of the key things to get you in the ballpark. And so in reply to the video, um, what I see is the inner mallet slipping as the interval gets larger. So some, some of these strokes here, as the, as the sticks open up, this mallet pretty much comes out from the hand and falls up this way, and then we got all kinds of problems, okay? So here's what we need to do to fix that. The first thing is remember that we only make sounds really two ways with this grip. The wrist moving this way with the wrist motion, and then the wrist moving this way also with the wrist motion. That's pretty much it. Those are, that's, those are actually the fulcrum points. So we're not talking about a finger stroke, fulcrum, or any other fulcrum that's at the wrist, whether it be this way or this way. Simple. So the first thing from the video is that the individual was using pretty much an entire arm stroke. So I would encourage them to use primarily a wrist stroke. Okay, second thing to fix this problem. We've got to keep the inner mallet in the center of your palm. As the, as the intervals increase, the mallet is coming up towards the top of the hand and falling out of the hand altogether. You do this by rotating the inner mallet with the thumb and the, and the index finger. But you've got to keep that mallet absolutely in the palm of your hand. Um, so that's the second thing you need to do to make sure that you can fix this problem. Um, start this process doing both things by laying the mallets on the keyboard, just like this, Rotating your hand back and forth, put, put the, uh, the inner mallet in the center of the palm and place the other mallet with maybe half an inch, third of an inch, um, probably a half an inch of coming outside the back of the hand. What you want to do is rotate that wrist back and forth, get it so that the palm is perpendicular to the floor. That's really, really important. And you can, you can find that position by just rotating this way. Um, once you have that in place, as you open and close the interval, you want to roll. You can see the top mallet here. As I roll, it's rotating. I think if you do all of those things um, with your student, uh, I think that's going to really solve most of your problems. So wrist motion this way, this way. Keep the inner mallet inside the center of your palm and rotate this way. Okay? I hope that helps. Um, those are some of the most basic concepts of Steven's grip. And um, I love that we interacted via Twitter, and I hope you found this helpful. That's today's show. The question of the day is, um, what other suggestions do you guys have aside, aside from those sort of the way I broke that down? How would you guys break it down? What are some of the things that you would describe to fix this problem of the inner mallet slipping out? Thank you guys so much for watching. Really quick show today, and uh, keep those questions coming. I love that. Have a great day. Bye.